like to just see some ID, see who I'm dealing with. How would that? How does that help you in your investigation? Because if you're, if I'll make you a deal. If you give me your driver's license, I'll give you my driver's license. Is that a deal? No. You guys work for the correctional facility here? Yep. Okay. So you guys have no authority over here, right? No, no, we do no, it's not. Don't go on the other side of this fence. Come it's on. It's a secure area for the airport. Okay. That's all. That's when, all I'm just saying. Wait. And then when you walk, when you walk your dog off. later, make sure he has a leash on him. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we're at the Albany County Corrections and Rehabilitative Services Center here in Albany, New York. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, it's a little windy out today, so I apologize in advance for any wind noise. Albany County Sheriff's Office mobile shooting range. Never seen a mobile shooting range before. I guess there's a first time for everything. Um, who, who are you, sir? I'm Commander Grimes. I'm administrator. I'm walking around the facility with a camera. Oh, Commander Grimes. Yes. Oh, no, no, I don't need any help. Thank you, sir. Okay. Oh, I'm just taking some pictures and video. Of the facility? Of the facility, the perimeter fence. Why Just is that, sir? The facility in general, sir. Right, but you're over here by our mobile range. Yeah, I was I was checking out the mobile range. I never seen a mobile shooting range before. Okay. And you're taking pictures of our exterior fence. What's your name, sir? Oh, I'm not gonna give my name, sir. Why not? Just because I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just asking and you're walking around our perimeter fence. Yeah, well my first name's Sean. Sean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Want to give me your last name, sir? Oh, uh, no, no. Right, I'm, a, I'm an independent journalist, Commander. Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you. Commander Grimes. Again, I'll make this very clear. I do not mind correctional officers, law enforcement officers asking me what I'm doing. I am taking pictures of this public facility. I know it is a correctional facility. And... You know, if they want to ask me any questions, that's fine. I even told them my first name was Sean. Independent journalist, just taking some pictures and video. That's all. Across the street from the correctional facility, it looks like we have um, an airport. In the distance there, you can see the control tower. Hey, how are you? What's going on? Uh, nothing. Can I just get your name and badge number, please? Yeah, it's uh, Deputy Smith. My badge number is 213. Okay. Yeah. Thank What's going you. on? Nothing. You're just in a, one, you're right outside the board of the airport, and two, you're over right across from the jail, so you're kind of in a suspicious area right now. Yeah, I'm just taking some pictures and video. What for? I'm an independent journalist. Okay. Do you, do you have your ID on you? I do have my ID on me, yeah. Yeah, can I, can I just see that, please? For what? Because you're in a, right next to the airport. Okay. And you're right outside the jail, so I'd like to just see some ID, see who I'm dealing with. How would that? How does that help you in your investigation? Because if you're, if what I'm trying to figure out is just who you are, and see maybe if I, when I run your identity, I can figure out what's going on here and see who will you, you are exactly. Will, will, will my ID tell you if I'm an independent journalist or not? When no, you does it tell you? What do you what do you have going on right now? Just because I have the jail calling right now, I have the COs coming over right now. Yeah. We just want to know what's going on. Actually. Yeah, I just told you though. What What do you? I just told you, deputy. I just told you. What's What are you doing? Uh, I'm an independent journalist. What is it? I'm for working you? on a story. What's the story? The story is on the county of Albany as well as the the, um, the airport here. 
and the correctional facility. What, what are you writing about the facility? Oh, just general information about the facility. It's not published yet, so I really don't want to get into too many specifics. What, uh, what company do you work for? Oh, it, it, oh, oh independent. Independent. Sorry, yeah. independent. So I work for myself, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. I'm just curious. I just don't think that my ID would, you know, I do have it on me, but I don't think that's going to, I don't, I don't see how that's going to help you out in any way. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, it'll help me figure out who you are. What's your name? My first name's Sean. Sean? What's yeah. your last name? I'm, I don't want to give out any identifying information as far as my full name or address or my ID or anything like that. Why is that? Because I haven't committed a crime. That's why. Yeah, but the area you're in is a very, it's a very unusual area to be in right now. At a, at a side, on a public easement? No, you're in between the airport and you're in between the jail right now. Oh, yeah. So it's not, this isn't a normal spot for someone to leave. How are you guys doing? doing? Good. You're an independent journalist, but I want to know what. How much longer do you plan on being here for? Uh, as soon as I'm done with my story that I'm working on, any any right. pictures that I long, get. About how long do you think you'll be here for? I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. Okay. All right. You're welcome to hang out if you like. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Okay, right. you're welcome to hang but out. You can continue doing what you're doing for right now, and I'll I know. Come back and talk to you in a second. Okay. Oh yeah, sure. I'll be Thanks. here. Thanks I'll be for here. Cooperating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys work for the correctional facility here? Yep. Okay. So you guys have no authority over here, right? No, it's not. You have no authority over here, just so you know. It doesn't matter. Your job is to keep peace inside the correctional facility. Okay. I might just hang out for a minute until he's gone. Okay. Can't do anything outside the jail. <laughs> they can't do anything outside the jail. You know that. I'll make you a deal, deputy. I'll make you a deal. If you give me a driver's license, I'll give you my driver's license. Is that a deal? No. Just hold on. I'm trying to. Oh yeah. windy. He's unreadable with wind interference. Hopefully you guys can hear me and everything that's going on. It's very windy out here. You take care, deputy. I don't know why these correctional officers come outside the jail. They have no authority outside of those walls. They're not law enforcement officers. I don't really understand it. Don't get it. And another thing I don't get is, what about my identification would help ease any concerns over a law, you know, by, by a law enforcement officer? Did you guys see that when I asked him, you know, how does my ID help you? He kind of like stuttered and, you know, didn't really have words to say because it doesn't it doesn't that's my new that's my new go-to question when they ask me for ID how does that help you out how is it gonna tell you I'm an independent journalist is it gonna tell you that I'm a peaceful journalist it's gonna tell you my intentions here it's not they just want ID because they want it and that's just the way it is so this is the Albany International Airport here. I believe it's just you know private, private planes, things of that nature. Right, so, just the only reason we came over, just to be around, is just because it is just kind of an odd area. That's it. Just because you're in between the jail and the airport. Um, really, we have no problem with it. It's just we wanted to see who was over here and what you were doing over here. Sure. Yeah, and I, and I told you, right? Yep, you did. Yep. I told you. So, right. honestly, you're good to do whatever you got to do. I appreciate and, uh, that. Thanks. And, Thanks. And uh, just the biggest thing is just don't go on. Don't the do it. Side don't of this. don't do it. Don't do it. What? Don't do it. What? You're gonna give me some meaningless directives. No, no. And no, I don't no, want to. No, I don't. No, no, no. Oh no, no. I'm gonna tell you right now. Don't go on the other side of this fence. Come it's on. It's a secure area for the airport. Okay. That's all. That's when, all I'm just saying. Wait. When you walk, when you walk your dog later, 
Make sure he has a leash on him. And then, Do you see? on the opposite side, <laughs> Come on, if you go over near the jail, that's another problem too. I'm just saying, it's, there's no filming in but the But you're just, I, listen, I just you're just telling me things, things that, you're telling me things that have nothing to do with me. Was I ever in the jail? Was I no, ever on that side of the fence? You weren't, but I'm just trying to tell you. Like, just you're in just so I know. Here. Are you from around here? Just so I know, right? Have you been around here before? This is my first time. This is my first time here. Yeah, okay, this is so, my first time so here. See, but I'm not gonna go. For you, but so you know, I can read. Do you see that the signs on the fence say restricted area? Yeah, signs on the fence. They're on the other side, there is. Yeah, right over there. Right? Yeah. In this area where we're standing right now, <laughs> dude. I'm not trying to get you hard. I'm yeah. just trying to figure out who you want. That's all no, yeah. I, I told you. My name's Sean. I'm an independent journalist. Okay. That's it. How you doing, Stephanie? So okay. Just, I just want to make sure you knew where you were going. Okay. I didn't want you to end up in somewhere you're not supposed to be. Yeah. It's an odd spot for you to be outside, the, in between the airport and the jail. Yeah. But besides that, you're good to go. So right. have a nice day, alright? Make sure your seatbelt's on when you get in the car, okay? okay thank you. No problem. Stay safe. Can I just get your name, sir? Juan yeah. Feliciano. And your badge number, Feliciano? One, two, three. Thank you. Appreciate it. Helicopter flew right above us as this guy was giving me his directives. Why? Why, 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 why? There's no need for directives. Now look. I hate to do that. I hate to tell him when he gets home to walk his dog, you know, make sure he has a leash. I hate to tell him to make sure he has a seatbelt on. But if you're gonna tell me irrelevant, you know, directives that have nothing to do with me, don't film inside the jail, you know, don't jump over this barbed wire fence here. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> Is that real life? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna break inside the jail so I can film inside the jail. Makes a lot of sense. You too. Take care. All right, guys, so the sheriffs of Albany County here, the two deputies, they left. And uh, we'll be leaving soon. We got all the photographs we need. All right, guys, so we're just getting out of the Albany County Corrections Center here in Albany, New York. Overall, not too bad. The commander of the facility here asked me some questions what I was doing. Again, I always answer. I'm an independent journalist. I'm just taking some pictures and video in public. It's not that big of a deal. I told them my first name, just like I told the deputy. When the deputy sheriff from the Albany County came up, of course, like every other law enforcement officer before him, wanted ID so badly, but I'm not gonna surrender my Fourth Amendment right. I told you my name is Sean. There is nothing about my ID that makes me less suspicious or tells you that I'm an independent journalist or my intentions. It's just silly. You know, I offered him a trade. Give me your ID and I'll give you mine. He didn't want to do that. Why is that? If IDs are so, you know, trivial and what does it matter to give your ID to the police officer? Why can't they give you their driver's license and identification? What's the big deal? You know, he was doing pretty good. So, so. And then at the end with the directives made my stomach a little queasy there for a minute. I hate directives. You know, I'm a man, he's a man. There's no reason for another man to tell somebody what to do or make sure you don't do this, make sure you don't film inside the jail, make sure you don't jump over this barbed wire fence over here. It's just silly and it's not productive. It only serves to escalate the situations, which is not what we want to accomplish here. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe, God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit, peace.